Imagine walking through the crowded, sunny streets of a city more than 5,000 years ago. Towering mud brick temples rise in the distance, their shadows stretching over merchants, craftsmen, and farmers. Amidst the hum of voices, the clang of bronze tools, and the scent of spices, you realize you're in the heart of Sumer, one of the world's first urban civilizations. But how did such an ancient society create cities, lost complex writing systems, and technologies that would shape human history for millennia? And why? After thousands of years of driving, did they ultimately vanish from his? The cradle of civilization, the birth of Sumer journey begins in the Fertile Crescent, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. It was here in the land that we now call Iraq, that the conditions were perfect for early agriculture. The rivers fed by seasonal floods, created fertile soil that allowed early farmers to settle down and grow crops like barley, wheat and flax. By 4000 BCE, small villages grew into larger settlements. Unlike their hunter-gatherer ancestors, these early Sumerians stayed in one place. Giving rise to what would become some of the world's first cities, Uruk, one of their greatest cities, could be considered the world's first metropolis, with populations that may have reached as high as Babylon people. Imagine Uruk in its prime, a thriving hub of trade, craft, and culture. Farmers brought grain to the market, while artisans crafted pottery and metalworks. The city was protected by massive walls that stood for kilometers in circumference, and at its heart, the icon of Zigar rose like a mountain, a testament to Sumerian devotion and architectural skill. But life here wasn't easy, and the rivers that brought life could also bring destruction. Floods were unpredictable, and so the Sumerians developed a complex system of canals and levees to control the water, allowing them to expand their agriculture and support growing populations. Relations. This mastery over water was the key to their prosperity and laid the groundwork for Sumerian civilization. Innovations that changed the world. If the Sumerians are known for one thing, it's their incredible innovation. The Sumer was a place where necessity bred ingenuity. Writing. The dawn of history. One of their most profound contributions to humanity was the invention of writing. Around 1000 BCE, Sumerians began to record information on clay tablets using wedge-shaped marks known as cuneiform. At first, this writing was used primarily for practical purposes, recording transactions, inventories, and property ownership. But as time went on, cuneiform evolved beyond simple records. It became a way to communicate stories, religious beliefs. And even loss. The Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the world's earliest literary works, emerged from this society. A tale of a legendary king's quest for immortality. This was more than just storytelling; it was a way to grapple with human mortality, love, friendship, and the divine. Mathematics and astronomy to manage their cities and agricultural resources. The Sumerians developed advanced mathematics. They used A B A S equality system, a structure so effective that we still use it. Today, to measure time, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and angles, 360 degrees in a circle. They also studied the skies, making early astronomical observations. Their understanding of the lunar cycle helped them create one of the first calendars, crucial for planning agricultural cycles and religious ceremonies. The wheel and engineering and who could forget the wheel? The Sumerians were among the first to use wheels. Initially for pottery making and later for quarts, this innovation would go on to change transportation, trade, and warfare forever. They also developed complex engineering skills, building extensive canal systems, sophisticated brick buildings, and defensive walls. These achievements made their cities resilient and self-sustaining. A necessity in a world where conflicts over resources were common. The rise of Sumerian government and lawless Sumerian cities grew. The need for order and structure became paramount. It was here that government and laws, as we understand them today, began to take shape. Governance and the role of king in Sumerian city-state was like an independent kingdom governed by a ruler known as an ansi or lago. This ruler was both a king and a priest responsible for upholding justice, maintaining the city's temples, and defending against enemies. The concept of kingship in Sumer wasn't purely political; it was deeply spiritual. Kings claimed authority from the gods, which helped legitimize their rule and reinforce social order. The kings of Sumer presided over city-states with distinct identities and rivalries. Er. Uruk and Lagash were among the most prominent, often competing for resources and influence. This competition led to warfare, making the Sumerians among the earliest known practitioners of organized combat. Some historians even argue that they developed early forms of siege warfare, complete with battering rams and fortified defenses. The first law code of Sumerians also recognized the need for justice, leading to the world's earliest known legal codes, the Code of Nammu, dated around 1000 BCE, included laws on theft. 
assault, and marriage, specifying fines and punishments to maintain order. What's remarkable about this code is its fairness. In a society where retaliation could quickly spiral out of control, having written laws help standardize justice and protect individuals particularly the vulnerable. It was a giant leap toward the rule of law, a concept that underpins many of our modern legal systems. Religion and mythology, a word of gods and spirits. For the Sumerians, religion was not a separate part of life, it was life itself. Every action, every event, was thought to be under the watchful eyes of the gods. Gods and their rulers Sumerians worshipped a complex pantheon of gods, each representing natural forces or human concerns. Anu, the sky god, ruled from above. While Enlil, the storm god, was both a protector and a force of chaos. Inanna, the goddess of love and war, was both revered and feared. Myths and beliefs Sumerian worldview was reflected in their myths. These stories weren't mere entertainment, they provided explanations for life's mysteries. The epic of Gilgamesh, for example, tackles the nature of mortality, an issue that resonates with us even today. Gilgamesh's journey reflects the universal quest for purpose and understanding, making it one of the most enduring works in literature. Legacy and Influence, the Sumerian Footprint on History The Sumerians left a lasting legacy that shaped the course of history. Their city-states influenced subsequent empires like the Akkadians, Babylonians, and the Assyrians. Each of these cultures adopted and adapted Sumerian achievements, carrying them forward and spreading them across the ancient world. Language and literature even as Sumerian faded as a spoken language, it remained a language of learning and religion for centuries much like Latin in medieval Europe. Scholars continue to study Sumerian texts for serving the myths, legal codes and wisdom of this ancient civilization. Innovation and culture as Sumerians' innovations in writing team keeping and government have had ripple effects across the millennia. From the libraries of ancient Babylon to modern legal codes, the Sumerian legacy endures in subtle yet profound ways. The Fall of Sumer, Lessons from the Past of White Sumer. This vibrant civilization ultimately declined. Environmental factors played a significant role there as irrigation continued over centuries. Salt accumulated in the soil gradually reducing crop yields. Additionally, Sumer was frequently beset by invasions and warfare, which weakened its city-states. In our sense BCE the Akkadian Empire, led by Sargon the Great conquered Sumer, marking the beginning of the end for Sumerian dominance. Although Sumerian culture would influence future civilizations, its time as an independent power had come to an end. Yet the Sumerian story lives on in their resilience, creativity, and dedication to building a better society offer lessons that resonate to this day. As we confront environmental challenges, urbanization, and the complexities of human governance, we can find valuable insights from the ancient Sumerian's journey. Their civilization reminds us that even the most advanced societies face limits if they do not adapt to changing conditions. The Sumerians were more than just the world's first urban civilization, they were the first to wrestle with the challenges of complex human society, how to govern, how to innovate, how to live sustainably, and how to connect with something larger than themselves. This story shows us that while human societies might progress and evolve, the fundamental challenges remain remarkably similar across millennia. The questions they face are ones we continue to grapple with today. How to balance progress with environmental stewardship. How to structure laws that promote justice and how to create a sense of community and purpose in an ever-changing world. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the ancient past. Until next time on History for Everyone keep exploring and questioning. Because every story from the past has something to teach us.